week two, day five. It's time to start adding some more weight and resistance at this point in the game. We've got our hit core workout coming up, so we know high intensity work, heart rate elevation, dump some sweat onto that mat of yours. I'm gonna do the same because I'm fired up today. Let's get into it, let's go. Before we jump into three juicy rounds of hit work, let's take a couple moments to get warmed up. Really simple, but also effective. I want you to follow me as I just start to shake out my arms and shake out my legs. The intention here is we're just starting to move stuff, wake stuff up, get it going. And that old expression, how we get the blood flowing, I like to say, let's turn stuff on. So as we begin to do so, we're gonna wrap the hands around the body, rotating, and beginning to take some big breaths. Now, don't have lazy feet. You should not be rotating with flat feet. Make sure to pick them up, pivot, use your entire body, because you're an athlete, that's why. So we're gonna stay here for a couple more moments, rotating around. And we're gonna shake that out. Feet open, shoulder width, extend your arms to your sides. Take a big breath in. As you breathe out, make that core tight and slowly roll the shoulders in circles. Now I wanna put emphasis on those directions because you're not gonna rotate in squares or boxes. I want big rotating circular motions and then reverse, go the other way. And I like this because it allows me to know that I won't get uh, kind of an increase in my neck and shoulders of stress. This allows me to keep the work in the right body parts. All right, now, take a moment to grab your weights. I'm gonna grab mine, and what we're looking at now, we've got our hit training. So five exercises. We do each move for reps, and we're gonna jump into three big, juicy rounds. First exercise, we've got 10 dumbbell burpees. So we're gonna start off standing tall, brace your core, get ready, and come on down with me. So I'm gonna keep weights in hand. You can choose to step back or hop back. Step in or hop in, bend those knees though, stand tall and repeat. So for me, I'm gonna add that impact. That's what makes me happy today. That's three. Now as we do burpees, I wanna just make sure to address one of the most common mistakes with this exercise. And it often happens here where we pretend to do like this ostrich impression where we don't bend our knees, and I don't want you to do that. So I want you to bend your knees, hop back tight core, bend, and then power up with your legs. Two left. One more time. Core tight, hop in, and there's 10, okay. So we're moving those weights off to the side, and we bring ourselves into push-ups. So this classic, this old school exercise that just doesn't seem to go out of style, it just really works well. So what we do here is we spread the fingers, come up into your high plank, and then you're gonna rotate your elbows inward so that the elbow pit faces forward. Let's go. One, two. And I can modify if I need to. If my level says that I need to do this from my knees, I can do this. This counts. What's important is that you listen to your body and do your best from there. But if you can do the work from the toes, two left and one left, then that's gonna be the version for you. <sighs> okay, so next is gonna come our dumbbell squats. Another exercise that's old school, but I love me some squats. So taking the weights to my shoulder, I open feet shoulder width, always bracing our core, sink, 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 Squeeze your butt at the top. There's three. So what you might notice, right, as you're working with me, I want you to notice the way that my upper body does not change, no matter whether my knees are bent or I'm standing tall. Last two. And one. Well done. So our next move brings us down to a seated position on the floor. It's called a strict press. As I extend my legs, open feet, shoulder width, and bring weights to shoulder, I'm gonna remain lifted, core tight, and then we press for 10 reps. Here's four, five, and yes, I can already feel this in my shoulders and my core. Seven, Eight, push right through, push through the resistance. That was nine. 
and there's 10. Oh, doesn't take much, and that works well. So this last exercise, I'm gonna go back and forth between two movements. I'm gonna do a high knee run into a butt kicker. 10 reps a pop, two times each. So let's get going in three, two, one, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Straight into butt kicker. Three, five, six, seven, nine, ten. 10. And go again. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. 10. One, two, four, five, six, seven, nine. And there's your first round. You're welcome, because we got two more. So I'm gonna take just a moment here and let myself breathe for a second. You can do the same. I won't take longer than 10 seconds though before I jump into a fresh round. We're gonna go with the burpees first. We start with the goodie. Let's get ready. And go. There's one. So personally, when I do my work, I'm not a huge fan of moving at 100 miles an hour. I'd rather work at about 80% pace. Yes, I'm moving quick. Yes, there's urgency, but I'm not in a huge rush. So rather than moving as quickly as I can, I'm gonna make sure that I bend my knees a lot, that I keep my core tight. We got three. And two. Finish strong, stay with me. Bring it down, bend your knees, and power up. And yeah, I'm sweating. I'm working for sure. Let's do some push-ups. Come on down with me, shake, shake, stay loose. We got 10 push-ups. And let's go. Here's one, two. And that's why they call this high intensity interval. You have moments where there's intensity, you're pushing, pushing, and then you have these short breaks. And that short break is just enough to keep you going, but the rest you gotta earn. I got three left. Hang in there. And one more. All right, two moves done. We're going into our dumbbell squats and we're getting ready to go. All right, so you can do these a number of ways. You can keep your hands to your sides. Personally, I like the weight to the shoulder. So as I open up my stance to shoulder width, we come down and push through the heel. I learned this really valuable lesson a few years back. The lesson was when doing squats, when I push through my heel, the heel is the link to my butt. So if you're interested in getting those booty gains, I'm a dude and I'm interested. So yes, the answer is yes. Last time, push through those heels every time you go into your squats. Grab a seat, let's go. Strict press, okay. So you see me here with extended legs. Let's go for 10. This is gonna be one of your tougher versions here with extended legs. Now, if for whatever reason, if this hurts your back, if this hurts your shoulders, you can modify this by crossing, right? Pull those legs a little closer towards yourself, give yourself more support, and keep going from here. But I'm going back. We got two. And one. And there it is. Okay, not bad. So let's bring it up. We're doing great. You're on a roll right now. And sometimes it doesn't feel like you're on a roll or you're in great rhythm, but you are because we're just continuing to move together. So we got 10 high knees, 10 butt kickers, two times. I'm done talking, let's go. Five, seven, nine, 10. One, two, four, seven, eight, nine. Do it again. Four, five, six, seven, nine, 10. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, nine. And there's my second round. Yeah, we're doing it. Good job, great time for a little water. You can take 10 seconds, wet the mouth. I'm gonna shake and breathe. So as we go into this third round, we don't want fatigue to be something that kind of causes us to veer off and cut corners and have bad form, right? So that's why this short break is important. It's gonna help us to feel good through that third round. Let's do some burpees. Last round. And let's go. And 
And sometimes when I'm in an exercise that's really hard, like the burpee, I think about my favorite athlete. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Or I think about Roger Federer, I think about Serena Williams, I think about my favorite athlete. I think about if they were here next to me working out, what would they be doing? Could I keep up with their pace? Probably not, but uh, it's fun to think I can. So we're gonna keep going, moving with our favorite athlete. And those knees, one more. Nice job. Let's do some push-ups. Just making sure those weights are out of the way and I'm ready to go. All right, we start push-ups in three. We start in two. Get ready, spread your fingers wide. Let's go. Stay with it, stay with it. Here's seven for me. That's eight, big push. Big push. There it is. Squats, squats, right? Kind of a good idea. Let's give the upper body a little break. Let's go into some lower body work. Who says that trainers don't moan and groan and sweat while they're in their workouts, huh? Let's go, we got 10, we're down. One. Two. So we're halfway there through those squats. This is our last time doing squats. You don't have to hold anything back. Last three. And two. One more time, one more time. Let that grunt out. And there it is. Strict press. Thank you. These guys are burning. Grab your weights. I'm gonna flex my feet, press my knee down, pick up my chest really tall. This is my last time here. I wanna make this significant. I wanna be proud of the work I do. So no cut, cutting corners for me. Keep going, y'all. There's four, five, six. And when it burns, we have this superpower called our breath. We keep breathing, last two, and one. And there it is, nice job. So we go into our last exercise of this third round. 10 high knees, 10 butt kickers. This is where we want some speed. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10. Two, three, four, six, eight, nine, 10. Up, three, Five, seven, nine, ten. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. All right, now stay with me for a sec, because we ain't done. I would be doing you a huge disservice if we didn't have a really nice bonus move, a way to kind of cap things off and put the bow on and wrap it up tight. So I want you to come down and grab a seat with me. And so we're gonna do 50 repetitions of a Russian twist. I'm choosing to add weight to mine. If you find that the weight gets to be too much, get rid of it and keep moving from there. We're gonna count each one as one. Pick up your chest, float your feet. Let's go. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you're starting to hurt your back already, put your heels down and you can keep going from here if your back doesn't love this. Your back feels okay. Lift your chest taller. There's 30. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rotate. Last 10. Let's push. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And so we finished up the hard part. We're going to stay in this seated position, and I think it's just a nice opportunity to extend those legs out, press the knee down reach up towards the ceiling or towards the sky and exhale to a forward fold. Nice big stretch here. Now I'm that guy that doesn't get super caught up in being able to grab my toes. If you can, that's great, but it's not massively important. What I find to be the most important thing is reaching my heart as close to my shoelaces as I can. It's when I get here, I can actually relax my hands and I can get just as much of a great stretch. 
slowly backing out. I take my right leg, bend, swing over, left arm hug, right hand behind, lift your chest, and twist. All right, and make that switch to the other side. So left hand behind, give this leg a hug as a way to show it some love, say thank you for all that work I just put it through. Make sure to sit tall and still catching my breath while I'm here. And so we come back to that center position. I'm gonna bring you up to standing with me. This will be our last stretch of the day. So I'm gonna open up my feet nice and wide. I'm gonna interlock my fingers behind my back here so you can see me, and I press the back of the hands down towards the floor. A little bit of a posture corrective type exercise. It's also just really nice because we tend to find ourselves here, kind of locks up the neck in not such a great position. So squeezing the shoulders back and just lifting the chin, we get a chance to finish up our time together expressing just a little bit of gratitude for our health and for the fact that we can take ourselves through such things. We're done in three, two, and one. Nice work. So what you wanna do from here is shake that out, breathe a sigh of relief because you made it to the end, you are done. Great job, and we'll see you for your next workout. Take care.